disciple friend, this is Mitty Man, coming back here from Walker's Music, Sunday Night Edition. We want to give God all the glory for life, health, and strength for as well as it is. Mitty Man had a pretty good day today. We had great service. Morning service, we had a youth recognition day at my church, and everything went decent and in order. Everything was on point. Very, very high point day. We're going to give God the glory for that. Also, we want to give a shout out to all the cyber friends. You know who you are. End Time Harvest Gang as well. Well, people, if you're not, if you haven't been looking at the news or checking it out on the internet, there's something that I saw tonight that uh, kind of jogged my memory. I, I, it catapulted me back a few months. I've been speaking it all along, and I think I share it with everybody on numerous of videos. I've been telling everybody the thing that you need to watch is the Middle East, especially Jerusalem. Well, lo and behold, tonight to my surprise when I checked out MSN, there it was. Benjamin Netanyahu, in other words, he is, uh, they are beginning to have more peace talks with the Palestinians. Now, for all of you that know anything about my video, you know that I've been saying all along, you got to watch that false peace. Remember, that's the way the Antichrist is going to come on on a peace platform. So we got to watch that. And remember, I also told you there will be no peace until the Prince of Peace comes. In other words, the scripture tell you they will holler peace and safety and that sudden destruction shall come. This is all prophetic, and you can't change it. You cannot change it, but I just wanted to let everybody know I'm quite sure that Brother L.A. going to probably come up with a segment if he already has not, if you already haven't uh, shouted it out as yet. I'm not certain because I haven't been on y'all YouTube today, but I'm just, I just saw it on MSN, and I decided that I would go ahead on and pass the news. And this is exact, exactly what I've been speaking all these years on YouTube. With all the videos, I've been telling everybody to watch Jerusalem. The Middle East especially, but especially Jerusalem. Well, Netanyahu, along with two officials from his country, from the, from Israel, Jerusalem, as well as two uh, Palestinian uh, representatives, going to meet tomorrow in Washington, D.C. Two from Israel, two from the uh, Palestinian area. I'm not for certain. i got to check that out again, but... This is what you need to watch. It's, it's been a three-year lull in that peace talk. It was halted. It was, it was ceased for three years. They're going to try to strike it up again on tomorrow. All I'm saying, people, is watch that because this is the very thing. There will be no peace for Jerusalem. Not only Jerusalem, there will be no peace for the world until the Prince of Peace. Jesus himself set it up. But all of this got to happen according to the scripture, that it might be fulfilled. This is prophetic. So watch it. We don't know where this here may go, but it's all leading up to it. Because this man of sin, he's going to confirm that covenant one day. Book of Daniel tells us that. So you might as well get ready for it, but I'm just letting you know these are the warning signs, people. In other words, warning Will Robinson. Will Robinson, warning. See, this is the this is the cry we're trying to let everybody see. You all this arguing and bickering among each other. This is the sort of stuff you need to be watching, cause this is what really means something. All this other stuff people talking about is just a bunch of poppycock. This is the real deal. This is the sort of stuff that we need to be telling people to watch, so you can discern the signs of the time. This is what it's all about. So I'm just letting everybody know they got two got two Israeli representatives. I think they're a minister of the peace or something like that. Oh, I forget now, minister. I got to check it back out. I did. I just, when I saw it, it just jumped. It jolted me so I just wanted to go on and do this video to let everybody know this is what I've been talking about out of all the video. I've been telling you, watch Jerusalem. You got to watch the Middle East and watch Jerusalem. That part of the world is the hot point. It's the center. It's the focus of the whole world. People, let me say it again. Read the book of Isaiah. Read the books of Ezekiel. Read the whole thing. Study it. But especially chapters 38 and 39 of Ezekiel. And I'm not going into that. Just do it. Just do it. 
If you want to know, and then ask the Holy Spirit, open your spiritual eyes that you can see exactly what is going on. All nations, that's what the Bible say, is going to go against Israel, people. All nations are going to go against the city of God. All nations. That's, that's, that's prophetic. You can't change it. Oh, we may want to do something, but there's nothing we can do. Because guess what? This battle belongs to God. You ain't got to worry about it. And they don't have to worry about it. Because God's going to stop. Anyone go against Israel. All you got to do is read the book. So I'm just saying, I just wanted everybody to know. When I saw that, it just like jolted me like a bolt of lightning. Because this is the same thing I've been speaking of all along. We need to stop arguing all this theology and stuff. Because that don't make no sense at all. But we better blow the horn and blow the trumpet to let people know to watch these kind of events. Like this peace talk that's going to happen tomorrow in Washington, D.C. This is stuff you better be watching. Because all this setting the stage up for the end time. And it's coming fast. It's coming fast. So with that being said, the man gets saying, I told you so. Watch Israel. Watch the Middle East. But especially watch Jerusalem. This middle man said, whatever you get, whatever you get into, if God ain't in it, Come out of it, folks. I'm telling you, come out of it. Time is drawing near. This is Man saying peace. Good night. <laughs>